do you have a tree that's taking over your yard? It's so big you're afraid it might fall on your house someday? Or maybe it's sending up little baby trees in your lawn and flower beds. It's time for that tree to die. There's only one problem. You have a granola, naturalist, tree-hugging neighbor. You know the ones who are always in their front yard watching? That thinks of anyone who would kill a tree as killing the earth? Here's how to kill a tree without anyone knowing. As soon as you pull out your chainsaw, you know they're going to be calling all of their friends. Before you can even start cutting your tree, they have assembled. Murderer? They even turn your own family against you. There are better ways to get things done. Seven ways to kill a tree without anyone knowing. Number one, poisoned arrows. Your naturalist neighbor won't even see it coming. He might even think you are being a great dad to teach your son how to shoot a bow. What are the chances of a three-year-old hitting the target? Very low. High five your kids because you were just being a great dad and your tree is history. Number two, patriotic assassination. Is he really eating a head of lettuce? Make it look like you're drilling holes in the ground when you're really drilling holes in the roots. Put flags in the holes. I am sure your naturalist neighbor loves his country, just not more than trees. Later, make it look like you're killing the weeds with Roundup when you're really filling the holes with it. Number three, water your tree with gasoline. Rubbing alcohol works as well. Just make sure you don't get caught. Have a bottle of essential oils to show how you really care about your tree, but it's really just to cover up the scent. Number four, girdle tree by pet. Tie a wire loosely around the tree, then leash your dog to it. As the dog runs around the tree, it will strip away the bark, thus girdling the tree. A mini pot pig would work as well. Number five, weed whack your tree. Be an outrageously bad weed whacker around your tree. After weed whacking your weeds like this all summer long, your tree doesn't stand a chance and it will be girdled. Your tree hugger neighbor can just keep on doing. And it wouldn't hurt to spray Roundup around the wounded area just to speed things along. Number six, spray leaves with poison. Run around your tree like a maniac with a ski mask on while your neighbor is doing yoga. Be thorough to make sure you get all the leaves. You might want to try this at night to be more inconspicuous. And if all these other ideas don't do the job, well, number seven, donate your car. Thanks for watching. Don't worry, no trees were harmed in the making of this film. This may be injured a little bit, but they'll they'll recover. <laughs> Full recovery. And uh, I want to thank Michael here from the Beach House. He came over. That's his YouTube channel. Um, they've been doing family vlogs for like what a year and a half now yeah a year and a half we haven't missed a day yet we love to have a lot of fun it's me and my wife and i've got four kids and uh, we just love to share good family values i want to know all the ways that you would kill a tree without anyone knowing so leave that in the comments below and then make sure to subscribe to this youtube channel journeysustainability.com like this and share this if you thought it was funny. If you didn't think it was funny, then just forget about it. But if you thought it was funny, go ahead and share it. Share it.